Bad news hits Biafra. Inamdi Kanu as court makes unexpected announcement about the indigenous people of Biafra. High pop. I see the shocking details of what aspires. If you are just joining us, a welcome to Bliss Channel. Kindly do well to share and subscribe to this channel. The Court of Appeal in Abuja has reserved its judgment regarding the indigenous people of Biafra's, which is known as IPOP, appeal to overturn its designation as a terrorist organization by the Nigerian federal government. The theory member panel presided over by Justice Hammer Bakar concluded the hearing after both parties presented their final arguments. During the screening and the session, the federal government was represented by Mr. Oyilade Kola Osho from the Federal Ministry of Justice. Why the indigenous people of Biafra, High Pops legal team, was led by senior advocate of Nigeria, San, Mr. Shukuma Mashuku Ume. High Pop is contesting a 2017 ruling made by the late Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, Justice Habdu Abu Karafati, which classified the group's activities as illegal and branded it a terrorist organization. So they are saying that Hypo is a terrorist organization. The initial proscription order was issued following an S part motion filed by former Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, on behalf of the government. This order declared IPOP's activities unlawful, particularly in the southeast and south-south regions of Nigeria. Justice Abdu Kafarati also mandated the Attorney General to publicize the proscription in Nigeria's official gazette and two national newspapers. In a subsequent ruling on January 22, 2018, the court dismissed a motion by IPOB that sought to challenge the legitimacy of the proscription order. The court noted that HIPOP constituted a significant threat to national security and rejected the argument that the group, which claims to be registered in over 40 countries, could not be validated, sued because it was not registered in Nigeria. And so the in the genius people of Biafra, High Pops appeal marked FHC and others presents five groups on which it contests the earlier ruling. 
The group argues that Justice Habdu Kafalati head in law and caused a miscarriage of justice by ruling that the statutory requirement for President Muhammadu Buhari's approval under Section 2, Section 1C of the Terrorism Prevention Amendment Act in year 2013 was satisfied based on a memo issued by the Attorney General on September 15, 2017. And so the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, contend that the trial judge failed to consider significant affidavit evidence demonstrating that the group does not engage in violent activities. The organization asserts that a thorough evaluation of the facts would reveal that its actions do not meet the legal definition of terrorism under the art. In their written submission, Hypop emphasized that its activities are peaceful, characterized by gathering where members hold placard and sing a support of self-determination. The group argues that it was not history of violence or possession of harms constructing its action with those of other groups in Nigeria, such as Fulani S-men, which have been accused of violence but have not been labeled as terrorist organization. Proper findings of facts built on a meticulous evaluation of affidavits evidence placed before the court will resolve whether the activities and character of the appellant meet the threshold definition of terrorism acts as contemplated under Section 2, Section 1A. So this latest development comes amidst broader concern regarding the treatment of IPOP members and the Nigerian government approach to group advocating for cessation or greater autonomy. The case reflects ongoing debate about national security, civil rights, and the extent to which the government can legislate against organization deems a threat to state stability. So guys, can you share your view on this matter? Do not forget to like and subscribe to Blaze Channel. Thank you.